when we talk about subsea cables, we're often referring to telecommunication cables. But high voltage power cables also crisscross our oceans. These cables are thicker and are used to carry electricity from renewable energy projects or to connect grids. But the majority of subsea cables transfer data and make up the backbone of our internet. Those are the focus of this report. At the crux of modern day subsea cable technology are optical fibers, which transmit information in the form of light pulses. Dozens of these hair-like fibers are consolidated into a single cable. As the light signal travels along the fibers, however, it loses some of its power in a process known as attenuation. To prevent this, cable makers install devices called repeaters, about every 50 to 62 miles, to reamplify the signal. But cables are just one part of the infrastructure. The rest is on dry land, where the cables connect to the terrestrial network at a landing station. What role do landing stations play in the scheme of the subsea system? So two types of equipment in the station. What we call power feeding equipment, which is used to send energy to the submerged repeaters because they, they, they don't operate on batteries. They need uh, electrical current to, to operate. And then we have the transmitters and receivers which actually inject the telecom signals into the fiber. 